Hi, good evening. A quick nod if I'm audible and visible. Or a quick... Hi, good evening. A quick nod if I'm audible and visible. Hello. Hi, Poonam. Hi, Nikhil. Hello, good evening. So I guess I am uh, uh, visible as well as audible to you. So I hope all of you are doing great and your uh, preparations are top notch and on the right track. Hello, hello Dr. Soumya. Audible and visible, all fine. Excellent. Thank you for the confirmation. Right. Okay. So uh, today's session is in continuation with the uh, actually the FMG preparations or which are going uh, or the exam which is going to be held in July ending. So whether you are you know uh, uh, appearing in the upcoming exam or you are going to appear later on if you're even a neat PG aspirant it this these sessions will be helpful to everybody whether it's this year or, or the uh, second year because now, the concepts remain the same, the important facts remain the same, so you can revise alongside even if you're not appearing just now. And if you are, then definitely these are sessions are going to be really, really beneficial to you. So before I actually get into the session, uh, some important announcements. If anybody uh, is looking for, uh, there are certain Neat PG Vitals which are recorded videos available on the Unacademy uh, website which have the recorded content of all the 19 subjects and they are well, very very uh, well curated especially for the NEET PGs as well as FMG of course and they will have all the questions so you can practice alongside right so that is the one thing you can go to the Unacademy platform and subscribe to them the second one uh, is about the NEET PG mega scholarship test so this is actually uh, if you want to appear, like if you are appearing in NEET PG 2024 and you want to avail uh, the scholarship basically. So how you can do this is by appearing in this mega NEET PG scholarship test and you can enroll for free. It's on 18th of June uh, from 11 to 3, 1.30 p.m. And the top three learners will get definitely 100% scholarship. That's a golden chance for all of you. And the third one is all those who are appearing for FMG exam. This is a very, very rapid booster batch, which already has started from 7th of June and it's of two months duration. And you can achieve or you can just, uh, you know, see you have practice sessions as well as the live sessions. And it is just at rupees 5700. You can apply the code NPG10. Right, so now we're done with all the important announcements and let's get on to the today's topic which is on cardiovascular system as well as the diuretics. So please, again, keep the chat box buzzing. If you know, it's very, even if you don't know, make an educated guess. Okay? So because it's always, always important to actually try and try to attempt the answer because you will know where you lack. If you are not correct, you'll know where you lack. Okay? So it's always important that you try to attempt the question right now because this is the platform where you are or we, you can afford to make mistakes right you will be corrected baad mein mistakes karne se achha hai abhi mistakes karenge and we can learn from the mistakes right all right so let's get started with the first question which is captopril can cause all except decrease in the potassium concentration decrease in the afterload urticaria blood dyscrasia so please tell me the correct option Captopril can cause all except decrease in potassium concentration. Nassar says one. Okay. Yes, more. I want more answers. Yes, keep them coming. One, just one. I have just one response here. Very good. Devashi says one. Akhil says four. Okay. Four, Fayaz, Vashali says three, Varun says four, okay, all right. So here the correct option is option number one. Now we'll see why. See, captopril kya hai, it is an ACE inhibitor, okay, it's an ACE inhibitor. 
एंड एस इनिबिटर अल्टीमेटली वॉट डू दे डू अगर आप इफ यू सी दैट रास सर्कल डबल से इज वन रास सर्कल आई विल फर्स्ट लेट मी गो टू दिस वन सो दिस इज द होल रेन इन एंजो स्टेंस इन एलोस्टिर सिस्टम सो अल्टीमेटली Yes, very good, Nisar. It causes hyperkalemia. So all the drugs which act on the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, they will cause hyperkalemia and never hypokalemia. Whether it is your renin inhibitors like aliskirin, angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitor, or the ACE inhibitors, all your prills. Okay, whether it is your एंजोटेंसिन यहाँ पे रिसेप्टर्स एटी वन रिसेप्टर ब्लॉकर विच आर योर सार्टन्स एंड द ड्रग्स विच इनहिबिट द एल्डोस्टिर इफेक्ट विच इज पायरोनो लैमटो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर गोइंग टू अल्टीमेटली कॉज हाइपर क्लिनियर बिकॉज सी एल्डोस्टिर वॉज कॉजिंग रिटेंशन रिओब्जॉर्बन ऑफ सोडियम एंड दैट लीड्स टू हाइपर हाइपोकलीमिया but when this thing is stopped there will be hyperkalemia and add another drug to this list because renin is released from the jg cells of the kidneys and jg cells pe which receptors are present beta 1 receptors they cause the release of renin so if even if you give beta blockers they are going to inhibit the production of renin so they will also lead to hyperkalemia so all these drugs ultimately lead to hyperkalemia so this you should mark never hypokalemia but hypo ace is responsible aldosterone release but we are talking about ace inhibitors here theek hai so we are causing about ace inhibitors not the ace i'm talking about the drug which inhibit ultimately if you inhibit the ace enzyme and the angiotensin 2 will not be formed which is the main trigger for release of aldosterone so there will not be any retention of sodium uh, absorption of sodium so therefore the hyperkalemia is going to be there there's no hypokalemia there now these are the adverse effects of ace inhibitors and you can remember this by a mnemonic of the spelling captopril captopril is an ace inhibitor so remember captopril mnemonic so c is your cuff dry brassy cuff which is typically seen with ace inhibitors only this is because of the increase in bradykinin theek okay? hai this is because of increase in the bradykinin and this is not seen with angiotensin receptor blockers so if a patient on ace inhibitors cannot tolerate ace yes so therefore you have to give AR, you can give arbs replace ace inhibitors with arbs because they don't have any effect on the bradykinin levels why because bradykinin gets metabolized by the ace enzyme so bradykinin jo hai it gets metabolized also by ace enzyme so if you inhibit this enzyme the ace inhibitors they will lead to increased levels of bradykinin that has been seen to increase the chances of this causes dry brassica then the second is angioedema they are lead to rashes urticaria angioedema that has been also asked they show you a picture of you know a swollen lip of a child or any uh, person and they tell you what is the causative agent so one of the option would be an ace inhibitor so if they given option as ace inhibitor mark that so angioedema can be seen protein urea taste disturbances o is for orthostatic hypotension mostly seen with captopril because this is the shortest acting out of the lot so it is mostly seen with captopril less with the others then pregnancy may it is absolutely contraindicated whether it is your ace inhibitors or whether it is your arbs they are absolutely contraindicated in pregnancy and they belong to category x drugs okay category x drugs then they precipitate the renal failure in bilateral renal artery stenosis that is another thing increase potassium levels as i said hyperkalemia and yes they have been shown sometimes they can cause low counts which is granulocytopenia so agar blood dyscrasia jo option hai that can also be seen with the ace inhibitors so these are the important adverse effects of ace inhibitors that you must know or quickly going through uh, important or kya isme cheez hai captopril ke bare mein it is one of the shortest acting 
and captopril and lisinopril you know they are not pro drugs all the ace inhibitors other ace inhibitors are pro drugs except for captopril and lisinopril right all right theek hai so let's have these ye kuch aur important points hain which is the drug of choice for diabetic nephropathy out of the ras form which is the drug of choice for diabetic nephropathy so your answer should be ace inhibitor any ace inhibitor should be a drug of choice for diabetic nephropathy so there is a mnemonic ek mnemonic yaad rakh lo dish d i s h another mnemonic d stands for diabetic nephropathy this is for the uses of important uses of ace inhibitors diabetic nephropathy i is infarction may be used karte hai isko myocardial infarction myocardial infarction s stands for scleroderma crisis theek hai and h stands for hypertension so these are the important uses of ace inhibitors now can you tell me the arb now this is not the ace inhibitor the angiotensin receptor blocker which also has some antiplatelet action and uricosuric action which of the arb has antiplatelet as well as uricosuric action losartan very good excellent abhi excellent it is losartan very good losartan excellent varun which arb has also a ppar gamma action theek hai jaise thiazole is zolidine dione hote hain similarly arb which has a ppar gamma action tell me very good varun this tell me sartan tell me sartan theek hai ye yeah, this is our has been asked so these are two another additional points about ace inhibitors theek okay? hai so this was in short about the renin angiotensin system and the especially targeting ace inhibitors very very important drugs which are asked frequently in the exams now let's get to the uh, another important topic and that is your antiarrhythmic match the antiarrhythmic drugs with their classes okay can you match the antiarrhythmic drugs with their classes so let's go one by one here tell me one drug one matches or esmolol belongs to which class esmolol belongs to which class Three C. Now let's start from the first one. Like right? let's talk about esmolol. Esmolol belongs to which class? Esmolol belongs to. Very good. Class two. Amiodarone. Very good. All of you. Amiodarone. Yes. Esmolol belongs to class two. Amiodarone. Three, very good. Amio belongs to class three. Very good. Not D, not D. Amio deron is class three. Diltiazem, diltiazem is diltiazem is which class? Diltiazem is which class? Diltiazem four, very good. And quinidine one, excellent, sir. Diltiazem is class four, and quinidine is class one. ठीक है? Diltiazem class four and quinidine class one. ठीक है? एक इसमें one, two, three, four. ठीक है? अब अगर आप एक चीज याद रखो, if you remember, sodium beets potassium. and calcium sodium beets potassium and calcium class 
बीट्स इज बीटा ब्लॉकर क्लास टू पोटेशियम ओपनर्स थ्री एंड कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स क्लास फोर दो देर इज एन अदर फाइव विच इज मिसलेनियस बट जिस कन्फ्यूजन होती है विच बिलोंग्स टू विच क्लास वन इज सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स क्लास टू बीटा बीट्स इज बीटा एंड थ्री इज पोटेशियम फोर इज कैल्शियम अगर इसमें भी कंफ्यूजन है विच इज लाइक समटाइम सोडियम बीट्स कैल्शियम पोटेशियम आना चाहिए कि पोटेशियम कैल्शियम आना चाहिए सो रिमेंबर सी ए टू पॉजिटिव ये फोर है ठीक है तो देर आर फोर लेटर सो दिस बिलोंग्स टू क्लास फोर सी ए टू पॉजिटिव इज फोर लेटर सो दीज आर क्लास फोर सो रिमेंबर सोडियम बीट्स पोटेशियम एंड कैल्शियम सो नाउ यू कैन रिमेंबर की कौन सी चार एटलीस्ट मकैनिज्म यू नो दैट सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स दिस इज बीटा ब्लॉकर्स एंड पोटेशियम ओपनर्स एंड कैल्शियम ब्लॉकर्स लेट्स टेरी देम इन अ लिटिल मोर डिटेल्स ठीक है ये क्लासिफिकेशन है विच इज बिकॉज यू आर लॉर ऑफ टाइम्स यू आर आस्ट अबाउट विच एंटी रिदमिक बिलोंग्स टू विच क्लास एंड वॉट इज द एक्शन सो दिस इज सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज य The class one A, one B, one C. Okay, one is the only class which is divided into A, B, and C, and I have told you they belong to sodium channel blockers. Also, remember the name of the classification is War William Singh classification. Now, so class one, we have quinidine. Okay, quinidine आ गया, and one A में quinidine है, procainamide है. Then class one B, lignocaine, phenytoin. Class one C and kinite, flecainite. Now, why have they been divided into these three, one A, one B, one C? This is because of their effect on the potassium channels. That's why they have been divided into A, B, and C. So this is because of the effect on the potassium channels. जो one A वाले drugs हैं, they are going to block. One B वाले drugs are going to open potassium channels and one C they practically do not have any effect on the potassium channels. That's the why they have been differentiated into these three. Now important to note here is any drug which is going to block the uh, rather that uh, block the potassium channels. Okay. So what are they going to do? They are going to produce arrhythmias. Torsades D pointis. One B, the drugs are used for ventricular arrhythmias. One C, they are used for these kinds of arrhythmias. I'll tell you actually, yes, QT prolongation and a typical kind of arrhythmia which is seen is called as torsades D pointis. Okay, ये है some features about class one. Now, इस class में there are few drugs which need special mention, which is your quinidine. Okay. And your lignocaine. These two are very important drugs, quinidine and lignocaine. So quinidine के बारे में जो important points here is that quinidine is a otherwise it's a uh, it's also used it's from the cinchona bark. Has been asked once. They gave a picture of a cinchona bark and they showed which of the drug is obtained from this particular bark. So that was cinchona bark from quinidine. So quinidine का जो most common we can write जो quinidine का है most common side effect है. That is your diarrhea. Most common side effect of quinidine is diarrhea. Then quinidine can lead to hypotension. Also, quinidine can lead to hypotension because of alpha one block. So alpha receptor block, right? Alpha block. Then it can lead to hypoglycemia. Quinidine can also lead to hypoglycemia. and very important side effect is synchronism synchronism which is seen with quinidine <clears throat> where there is ototoxicity and there is neurotoxicity okay ototoxicity and neurotoxicity then uh, another drug jo procainamide hai what you should know procainamide is metabolized by the process of Acetylation. It is metabolized by the process of acetylation. So let me make another page here. Okay, it is metabolized by the process of acetylation. Procainamide. Good evening, Doctor Metroid. Good evening. 
to procainamide, mesotylation, and you know that which other drugs get? Yes, very good. It causes drug induced lupus. Theek hai? Now, it DLE cause karta. Because it belongs to a class of the drugs which are metabolized by estylation, which other drugs are metabolized by estylation are your ship drugs. Okay? Ship drugs. So, ship drugs, we will remember S se, sulfonamides. Very good. Excellent. Hydrolazine. I N H and this is your procainamide. This one, very good. So all these ship drugs they get metabolized by estylation. So procainamide is also one of them. Uske baad important points about some important point about lignocaine is that lignocaine. So lignocaine kya hai? Lignocaine. It is a drug of choice. You should remember in digoxin induced ventricular tachycardia or ventricular arrhythmias. Okay? So, digoxin ke baad, whatever ventricular arrhythmia tachycardia happens, then we use lignocaine. That is important to know about lignocaine. An antidote, antidote for lignocaine. And even the other local anesthetic is 20% intraliquid. Antidote to lignocaine is 20% intralipid, which binds these uh, lignocaine and doesn't allow it to act. So, ye important point, kuch important points about the class 1 drug. Theke? So, let's go to the class 2 drugs. So, class 2 drugs, mein, they are beta blockers. So, you know, they are all beta blockers. But the only blo beta blocker which doesn't belong to class 2 is your sotalol. Okay? Only beta blocker which doesn't belong to class 2 is your sotalol because it has an additional potassium channel opening effect. Okay? So, it is used there. So, all the other beta blockers are used there. And you know that they are the drug of choice. For any kind of tachycardias, you say hyperthyroidism, fever, because of sympathetic system, any kind of sympathetic system which is exaggerating or causing tachycardias, fever, pheochromocytoma, you can use them there. And they can also be used in supraventricular tachycardia. You should first select labetalol. Okay, labetalol is a drug of choice and then you should go for methyl dopa. If both are given, then labetalol should be preferred. So, control the atrial rate in SVT. I am going to take another question uh, on this atrial fibrillation only and then we will uh, discuss which are the important drugs for atrial fibrillation. So, for now, they control the atrial rate in supraventricular tachycardia. Then class 3, class 3 ki baat kare, these are the drugs, is mein sabse important, one of the drugs frequently asked and you need to know them is your amiodarone. Theke? Amiodarone, very very important drugs. Or amiodarone ke baare mein, we will discuss the important features in a little more details. So these uh, also, they are associated with torsades depointis. Theke? This, this class of drug is also associated with torsades depointis. And amiodarone is one of the longest acting as well as the most efficacious drug. Longest acting and one of the most efficacious drug here. And these uh, can be used in all types of arrhythmia except torsades depointis. They can be used in, jahan pe doubt hai, konsa use kare, they can, use in, uh, can be used in all types of arrhythmia except torsades depointis. Because amiodarone has multiple other channel effects also. Apart from the potassium channels, it affects the other multiple channels. So, they can be used in all different types of arrhythmias also. But, sirf torsades e pointers mein, we cannot use them. And, ebutalite ke baare mein, jo important cheese hai, which is the preferred drug to convert atrial fibrillation into sinus rhythm. This I am going to take up in detail again, when there is a question. Uh, about the treatment of atrial fibrillation, which drugs to use. Okay, so for currently, this is important. The amiodarone and drona, uh, 
ड्रोने ड्रोने इसमें यही फर्क है दिस डज नॉट कंटेन एनी आयोडीन मोइटी एमियोडरोन कंटेन्स आयोडीन सो इट हैज लॉट ऑफ साइड इफेक्ट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द हाइपो और द हाइपो थाइरोडिज्म बट ड्रोने डरोन इट डज नॉट दैट इज योर ब्रेटलियम जो आपका फार्माकोलॉजिकल डिफेब्रिलेटर है दैट इज ब्रेटलियम अब इसको यूज नहीं करते ठीक है बट इट ऑल्सो बिलोंग्स टू दिस क्लास ओनली वी डोंट यूज दैम ठीक है दैट इज ब्रेटलियम विच इज योर फार्माकोलॉ मेडिकल डिफेब्रिलेटर और फार्माकोलॉजिकल डिफेब्रिलेटर दैट इज योर ब्रेटलियम सो एमियोडोन ड्रोनोडरोन इट वॉज ओनली डिफरेंसेज ड्रोनोडरोन डजेंट हैव एनी आयोडीन कंटेनिंग कंपाउंड दे फोर द साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ हाइपो और हाइपो थाइरोडिज्म विल नॉट बी सीन विद दिस ड्रग फर्स्ट लेट मी गो टू द एमियोड्रोन एंड लेट मी डिस्कस अ लिटिल मोर एंड देन आई कम बैक टू द अदर क्लास सो एमियोड्रोन के ये देर आर अदर इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर्स लाइक इट कॉजेज पल्मोनरी फाइब्रोसिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है ये क्वेश्चन एमियोड्रोन देन एमियोडरोन कैन कॉज हाइपो और हाइपर thyroidism then this picture has been shown quite often and can you identify what is this side effect both of them yes this is vortex keratopathy corneal deposits this one yes blue man syndrome and this is yes this is blue man syndrome right so these are all the very very important side effects of amiodarone that you should know then it can also lead to photosensitivity and cirrhosis and other things also but ye sare important features hai which can also function as this ild so ye very stick okay? so this is very important so this is one of the drugs which can be given in all type of arrhythmias except for tosides d pointers it is the most efficacious anti arrhythmic drug long acting has a half life of about 60 days because it has a very large volume of distribution then these are the side effect which are seen with this okay let's uh, come to now fourth theek hai humne kiya tha sodium beads potassium and calcium so we come to the fourth class of drug which is your calcium channel blocker where we used verapamil and diltiazem uh, so again these are calcium channel blockers and they mainly act on the sa node and the av node so any tachyarrhythmias we uh, they are helpful in preventing the movement of for ex, uh, for extra jo atrial kya kehte hain x7 atria is beating if fibrillation hai to prevent the movement of those impulses from atria to ventricle these are going to be helpful in those conditions tachyarrhythmias now coming to the last miscellaneous group which is group number 5 these are the various drugs there now adenosine important drug of choice in psvt so ye sare ke sare important hain all of these for what drug of choice magnesium sulfate drug of choice in acquired torsades d pointers congenital mein uh, you can use propranolol and magnesium sulfate is preferred in acquired torsades d pointers digoxin in case of atrial fibrillation occurring in chf atropine is a drug of choice for any kind of bradycardia theek hai so even digoxin and use av block ya bradycardia jo bhi uh, of bradycardia we again give atropine atropine is one drug which is very handy when it comes to bradycardia so ye four drugs are miscellaneous group mein which are important and where are they used so mark them and note them theek hai all right so ye general tha quickly what are the different types of anti arrhythmics and what is important to know about each one of them theek okay? hai briefly now let's come to the second question and uh, this one is also interrelated to this because i am going to discuss here about the fibrillation part and this was asked recently in the exam so let's go to this question and see a patient of bronchial asthma develops anxiety restlessness suggestive of hyperthyroidism there was atrial fibrillation on the ecg blood pressure was 180 100 so what should be the management here dr metroid says one all right abhi says okay diltiazem okay that's one 
So Leela says one. So all of you are on the right track. Yes. So this is the correct option that is delta z. So we know that here. Yes, this was asked. This was hyperthyroidism ka patient hai. So he has developed atrial fibrillation. So maybe he has developed a thyroid storm. Okay, na? So atrial fibrillation needs immediate attention. Why? Because the impulses can pass on to the ventricles and they can cause ventricular fibrillation which is life threatening. So we have to first address this. Others they can wait. So, hyperthyroidism ko treat hum baat ne karte rahenge. So, PTU is not an immediate uh, need. Immediate necessity is to take care of the atrial fibrillation. They ask for management. So, what should be the management? Pucha na. So, because you have to, yes, they ask for management. Basically, you have to select the drug. Now, the question, confusion last time was many students had marked propranolol, esmolol. Uh, rather esmolol, not propranolol, esmolol, thinking it is, uh, you know, it, why will it not be used? But the problem is the bronchial asthma. Okay? Yes, bronchial asthma. I'll tell you now, let's discuss the atrial fibrillation ka management. Okay? I can, I'll tell you. Treatment of atrial fibrillation. Now, atrial fibrillation, as I said, keep in mind, there are two things. Okay? One is the rate. Rate is liye that you don't want the impulse coming from atria into the ventricles. So, beach mein aapka hai AV node. So, you need a drug which will block the AV node so that impulses don't pass on from atria to ventricle because ventricular arrhythmias can lead to death in seconds. The heart will not be able to pump blood and therefore the patient will die. So, that is one thing. So, first you have to take care of the rate. And second is that you have to take care of the rhythm. Rhythm means that atrial fibrillation, usko bhi to fatigue karna hai. So, okay, you've stopped now the atria, uh, the pulses coming from atria to ventricle. But now what about atria itself? Now, atria also needs to be, the rhythm on atria also needs to be converted into a normal rhythm. That's called the management of the rhythm. And that is done by a different group of drugs. Okay. So, to prevent ray, uh, this, this, we have the drugs A, B, C, D. So, what we do immediately, if you have acute attack, mein, your adenosine works well. Because it is a very, very short acting drug, but it immediately, you know, leads to the effect. Okay, that is seen. Sorry, I think there is a power cut here, but I hope I am still on. So, uh, this leads to this. Now, adenosine and second is beta blocker. But both of these drugs cannot be given in asthma. Just a second. Both of these drugs cannot be given in asthma. Okay? Then your options are either you give a calcium channel blocker or you give a give digoxin. Okay? So, we prefer calcium channel blockers. So, we prefer here calcium channel blockers. And if there is no asthma, yes, you can give. Oh, no, it won't. I think we have a backup. Is it on? I am, uh, is there a lag? Chal hai na? Is it on? Okay. Because the lights already come. It won't get off. Wi-Fi uh, wi won't get off. Just let me know if it's, everything is fine. Audio visual, theek hai? All right. Good. So, these are the drug a, B, C, D. Remember the mnemonic A, B, C, D. So, adenosine, uh, beta blockers like propranolol, CCB, calcium channel blockers and digoxin. Good. So, ye mene kaha ki adenosine, immediately hum adenosine dete and then for maintenance you can give propranolol or calcium channel blockers. Now, if bronchial asthma has come into the picture, so both A and B are off, you are left with cal uh, CCB. Video is not clear? Is the video not clear? To others also? Can you, uh, can others, can, it's clear. So maybe Baljinder, there's some issue on your end. So if you could like, just log off and log in again. Okay, thanks, thank you everybody for confirming. So this is the ventricular rate, right? So rhythm ke liye, 
Okay. All right. So for the rhythm, the only drug can't see me. Okay. ठीक है, ठीक है. All right. So the rhythm के लिए the drug which is there is ibutilide, and we have amiodarone also. Can see. All right. Thank you. ठीक है, so rhythm के लिए we have this one. With a channel ka actually I don't have the control. It's with the an academy. ठीक है. So rate is again let's uh, continue. A B C D is for rate. ठीक है. A B C D remember this mnemonic A B C D adenosine protein blocker calcium channel digoxin is for rate. For rhythm, it is ibutilide amiodarone. So remember this for atrial fibrillation. Then you're good to go. Agar rhythm mein option aata hai, you choose ibutilide. वैसे they are saying now even amiodarone can be preferred, but you choose ibutilide. And मैंने कहा rate में how you select the drugs. Acute में you start giving high somnolence, high giving adenosine, and then you maintain on the other drugs. But yes, you have to see any coexisting disease there. जैसे इसमें beta block bronchial asthma था. So A and B are out of question. You have to go with the calcium channel blocker. So simple funda to remember for atrial fibrillation. All right. Okay. Let's go to another question. Again, it's a PIQ asked in the exam. Abhi last me aaya tha. ECG changes of tall T waves occurred while the patient was on an antihypertensive drug. Who developed chest pain? Which drug can cause this? तो हमने अभी वैसे किया है, but let's just revise this. Which of the drugs can cause this tall T waves? Surila says A. Doctor Mitroy says four. Okay. Surila says pyrolactone. Now you have changed to D. Dr. Metroy says 1. Okay. So it's low. Excellent. Yes, yes. That's what I was emphasizing. Pele Wali. Pele Wali means first one. Okay. 1, 1. Yes. Very good. So it is your potassium sparing diuretic which is spironolactone. Because tall T waves actually are a feature of hyperkalemia. Okay, hyperkalemia. And hyperkalemia is seen with spironolactone. Frusamide, hydrochlorothiazide. They will cause hypokalemia. Prazosin is not a direct effect. But they will cause hypokalemia. So the drugs which are all your RAS drugs, they are going to cause Hyperkalemia and the, so all these common drugs causing hyperkalemia. I have told you that RAS drugs are all the drugs affecting the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. These are going to affect or these are going to cause hyperkalemia. Okay. All right. So this was basically a little overview about your antiarrhythmics these were important questions about antiarrhythmics next i'm going to come to the next question here which is on another important topic which is digoxin so all are used in the treatment of digoxin toxicity except dialysis atropine digibind ya lignocaine PDF तो I don't think so इसकी available I think you'll have to go through this only. Doctor Metroid says two atropine okay. Baljinder says two okay atropine. Ashrafi says two. Surila says D, that is lignocaine, okay. Dialysis, Varun says dialysis, cytometroid, atropine, will worsen arrhythmia, okay. Alright, 
let's come to the correct option dialysis varun excellent yes so varun is correct here dialysis is the correct option i'll tell you why okay dialysis is the correct option here dialysis cannot be done with digoxin dialysis cannot be done in treatment with digoxin because it has a very large apparent volume of distribution theek hai so the drugs lignocaine wagaira sab use hote hain i'll tell you where they are used abhi humne kiya tha digoxin induced ventricular arrhythmia mein drug of choice is lignocaine so lignocaine is used in digoxin toxicity theek hai yes and dialysis is not done in so these are this is a mnemonic for the drugs where dialysis is not done theek hai so dialysis ka nahi karte and it has a half life of 40 hours digoxin has a half life of 40 hours so dialysis is not done in avoid dialysis is a mnemonic that you remember amphetamine theek hai verapa mil opioids imipramine digoxin and d of dialysis stands for diazepam so these are the drugs where we do not or we cannot do dialysis theek okay? hai so remember this mnemonic because sometimes another drug out of this can be asked and they'll be asking whether you can remove like they can say amphetamine theek okay? hai I'll tell you. Just wait. It. Rupin, where is it used? Let me come to this. Where it is used? It is induced toxicity, na? So, atropin, dial, uh, the toxin causes lot of arrhythmias. It causes bradyarrhythmias. It causes tachyarrhythmias. So, जो the toxin bradyarrhythmia cause करेगा, हम atropin we will use it there. That's not in every toxicity. ठीक है? I'm talking about. So, let's come to this only now. Some important points about the digoxin important cardiac side effects of digoxin which are those and what is the treatment theek okay? hai please know this is very important it can cause av block and i told you that atropine theek okay? hai av block ya bradycardia jo bhi ye cause kar bad arrhythmia the treatment would be atropine another side effect which is seen is ventricular arrhythmia theek hai and lignocaine is used as the drug of choice and this is the most common most common arrhythmia seen with digoxin then it can also lead to atrial arrhythmia so always remember jab bhi atria mein koi problem hai atria not worried about yes it can cause ventricular bigemini also it we are not worried about atria we are worried about atria passing those impulses to ventricle so whenever there is an atrial arrhythmia the thing is we do not want that impulse to pass to the ventricle so we need a drug which is going to block the av node so here the preferred drug is so ye teen cardiac side effects aur inki treatment has been asked so please make very good note of it non cardiac side effects mein the most common side effect jo hai because it is the most common side effect which is seen here is your nausea vomiting git disturbances are the most common yes nausea vomiting then it can lead to also a condition which is called as zen topsia theek hai yellow vision of the eye theek hai and what is the other thing it can lead to gynecomastia zen topsia gynecomastia nausea vomiting so gynecomastic mastia theek hai and all these three are the non cardiac but most common isme hai out of the side effects most common is your nausea and vomiting and for serious toxicity yes most common serious toxicity we use 
digi bind or we call as digi fab theek hai digi bind or digi fab to agar if you go back to the options jo yahan pe puche gaye the atropine is used digi bind is used lignocaine is used only dialysis is not used so this is the correct option or correct answer for this so uh, i think in the last or uh, yes and all of you if you want to actually you know i do similar revisions also in the an academy uh, class which is free live there it's free classes so you can join the an academy and then because i'll be doing more questions uh, there also so wahan pe thoda aur in depth ho jata hai so if you want to practice more and you know uh, do more so go uh, there in the an academy and just uh, log in and subscribe and you will be also told about the various classes jo ye wali hai because there are free classes so you can make best use of them so today i'm doing cvs here i'm also going to do cvs there again and the different questions with more other uh, board insights ha uh, link i will put link actually if you subscribe to the uh, you are already here right in the uh, youtube channel so they will give you and uh, link yahan pe okay i think free live class ka they usually give an ad, they a post is there usually time it, it is next week it is somewhere on it's on 14th theek hai 14th ko hai and 6 pm time is 14 6 pm and it is there it will be there on the when you if you go if you regularly check the ye wala in the youtube uh, channel they usually post it also in the image section तो वहां पे यस यू कैन मेक आउट तो आप कर सकते हो उसमें ठीक है सो ओके कमिंग बैक टू द जॉक्सन या सो दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स अबाउट द जॉक्सन एंड हाइपोकलीमिया ठीक है हाइपोकलीमिया हाइपो मैग्नीसीमिया एंड हाइपर सिक्स इट्स सिक्स पी एम ओनली आई एम कमिंग इट इज अ क्वेश्चन आई पुट ऑन ईवा ब्रेडिन ऑल्सो सो उसमें एक्सप्लेन क्या करना है सिंपल है कि वो फनी करेंस को ब्लॉक करता है इतना इतना ही जानना बहुत जरूरी है बट आई विल टेल यू अबाउट दैट इट इज अ क्वेश्चन आई मेड सो ये तीन आयन हैं विच आर गोइंग टू एनहैंस द टॉक्सिटी ऑफ द जॉक्सन ठीक है विच आयन हाइपोकलीमिया हाइपो मैग्नीसीमिया हाइपो अगर आप दो याद रखो हाइपोकलीमिया हाइपो मैग्नीसीमिया मैग्नीशियम कैल्शियम ऑलवेज दे आर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट्री टू ईच अदर ठीक है हाई अभिषेक सो ऑल तो इव रिमेंबर हाइपो मैग्नीसीमिया करेगा तो हाइपो कैल्सीमिया करेगा सो रिमेंबर दैट रीज Let's go to the next question quickly. Now, a patient is having a spinal surgery and he develops high blood pressure of two forty by one thirty. Which of the following drugs should not be used? Whether it is your IV esmolol, IV nicotinapin, IV nitroprusside, or IV mannitol. कौन सी ड्रग्स हमें नहीं देनी है डॉक्टर मेट्रॉय से फोर आशरफी से फोर सुरीला से थ्री बजेंद्र से फोर एसमोलॉल कॉटेक्स से एसमोलॉल ओके नाउ यू आइडेंटिफाई ये क्या कंडीशन है बेसिकली वेदर इट इज योर हाइपरटेंसिव एमरजेंसी और अर्जेंसी हाइपरटेंसिव अर्जेंसी है या एमरजेंसी है एस बी पी इज मोर देन usually 220 and it is dbp is more than 125 well that depends whether there is a damage to the organ or not theek okay? hai so ye criteria hai so emergency mein ye hai emergency mein heavy you have to give iv urgency mein you can buy oral route also but odd one out usme kya hai basically because you giving iv so iv mein emergency hoga अर्जेंसी में हम ओरली दे सकते हैं इमरजेंसी में वी हैव टू गिव आई वी रूट सो मैनीटॉल का कोई रोल नहीं है इन केसेस ऑफ हाइपरटेंसिव इमरजेंसी ऑल दी अदर ड्रग्स आर यूज बट मैनीटॉल हैज नो यूज दिस इज एन ऑस्मोटिक डायरेटिक ठीक है ना इट इज एन ऑस्मोटिक डायरेटिक एंड इट इज यूज इन केसेज ऑफ glaucoma theek hai cerebral edema and dialysis disequilibrium syndrome this was asked right theek hai yes so ye uh, 
कंडीशन है और दीज आर दंडिकेशन बट अदर्स हैव नो यूज हाइपर टेंसिव एमरजेंसी ड्रग्स जितनी भी हैं योर निकार्डपीन क्लेवेटपीन एसमोलॉल नाइट्रोप्रोसाइड ऑल हाइपर टेंसिव एमरजेंसी ड्रग्स ठीक है सो ऑल ऑफ दैम आर दीज थ्री फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर हाइपर टेंशन इन प्रेगनेंसी ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर हाइपर टेंशन इन प्रेगनेंसी सो यू कैन गिव If it's not an emergency, we can give oral yes, labetalol. But अगर emergency है then you make it IV labetalol. That is the thing. Drug of choice for hypertensive emergency, which is the drugs that we prefer now any for hypertensive emergency. निकार्डिपिन ठीक है एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज यस क्लेवेडिपिन निकार्डिपिन क्लेवेडिपिन यूज करते रेजिस्टेंट हाइपर टेंशन रेजिस्टेंट हाइपर टेंशन स्पायरोनोलैक्टोन ठीक है रेजिस्टेंट हाइपर टेंशन स्पायरोनोलैक्टॉन ठीक है क्योंकि रेजिस्टेंट हाइपर टेंशन मीन फन द पेशेंट इज रेजिस्टेंट नो निफेडिपिन नहीं यूज होते रेजिस्टेंट हाइपर टेंशन फिरोसमाइड फिर इज द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन सी सी एफ एक्चुअली फिरोसमाइड हाँ ड्यूटी पे आई मीन दे डोंट गो बाय द बुक राइट so resistant hypertension means when what happens is जब the patient is not responding to three drugs of जो anti hypertensive drugs and one of them is a diuretic so that's called your resistant hypertension then you give spironolactone ठीक है all right चलो somebody was asking about eva uh, bradine थाइजाइड इस मैं अभी हम एमरजेंसी की बात कर रहे थे ना वो रेजिस्टेंट हाइपर टेंशन मीन वो थाइजाइड्स को भी दे नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग ठीक है दीज आर एमरजेंसीज एमर्ज नॉर्मल हाइपर टेंसिव पेशेंट में वी आर गिविंग थाइजाइड्स एमरजेंसीज में यू आर नॉट गिविंग थाइजाइड्स ठीक है सो तो हम अभी एमरजेंसीज की बात कर रहे हैं सो ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज देयर तो वेदर यू फॉलो बाय द बुक और डोंट फॉलो बाय द बुक दैट इज अ डिफरेंट केस पर ये जो बुक्स लिखती है दैट इज How you we go about it? Okay. So eva bradine is indicated in the treatment of inappropriate sinus tachycardia, angina, cardiomyopathy, irritable bowel syndrome. Nitroprusside now it is not used. पहले use करते थे drug of choice था पर अब अब इसको use नहीं करते. Now it has been superseded by nicardipine. No longer used now. Okay. Actually, there are two answers to this. It is also used in one as well as in angina patients. Both may use कर सकते हैं. Inappropriate sinus tachycardia and angina. It can be used in both of them. ठीक है? Both of the patients. That is to prevent uh, the cases. Now, evapredine. Yes, both we can use this. That's why I'm saying it can be used in both conditions. में. ठीक है? Now, जो evapredine है, it is a funny सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर ठीक है जी फनी सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर इन दी एस ए नोड ना नॉर्मली क्या होता है एस ए नोड और ए वी नोड में द डीपोलराइजेशन इज मेनली बिकॉज ऑफ द कैल्शियम चैनल ड्रग्स लाइक सी सी बीज बीटा ब्लॉकर्स दे वर्क बेटर देर बट देर आर सम चैनल जो कॉल एज सोडियम फनी चैनल प्रेजेंट इन द एस ए नोड एंड दे आर ब्लॉक्ड बाय Eva Bradin and Eva Bradin purely, purely it causes bradycardia. इसका और कोई इफेक्ट नहीं है ठीक है नो इफेक्ट ऑन एनी स्मूथ मसल नथ थिंग इट प्योरली एक्चुअली कॉजेज ब्रैडी कार्डिया एंड जब ब्रैडी कार्डिया होगा द मेन एम इज टू डिक्रीज द वर्क लोड ऑन ऑक्सीजन कंजम्पन बेसिकली हार्ट रेट कम होगा डेफिनेटली द कंजम्पन जब हार्ट को कम बीट करना पड़ रहा है धीरे सो ऑब्वियसली ऑक्सीजन कंजम्पन वुड बी लेस सो दैट्स वाइट हेल्प्स इन दीज पेशेंट्स सो इट इज प्योरली अ ड्रग व्हिच इज कॉजिंग ब्रैडी कार्डिया सो इंडिकेटेड फॉर दिस कंडीशन 
other drugs which are anti-anginals these are few drugs which are also your anti-anginal drugs like nitrates okay to use karte which are vasodilators increase in the cyclic gmp potassium channel openers like nicorandil again it's a vasodilator ccps verapamil diltiazem and these are your drugs of choice in variant angina because beta blockers are contraindicated in variant angina so drug of choice for variant angina here instead it would be your preferred drug would be your ccps beta blockers not used in variant angina can be used in the other type of angina so again they are a cardiac depressant then we have drugs like p fox inhibitors trimetazidine renolazine what they do they cause inhibition of the fatty acid oxidation so meaning when fatty acid is oxidized if heart is trying to use fatty acid you know it is it will take more of energy is consumed so zyada energy heart ko chahiye pehli heart thoda weak hai and this fatty acid oxidation the metabolism we want to shift towards the glucose so that because glucose consumes less energy fatty acids consume more of energy so you want to shift the metabolism to glucose rather than fatty acids so they inhibit this oxidation of fatty acids and therefore they help they have an antioxidant effect also so help the patients of angina so isme question aaya hai p fox inhibitor hai and they are used as they have a different they have all together different action as compared to no vasodilatory action nothing like that inka bilkul different action hai so therefore you should know about trimetazidine and ranolazine na evabradine here aa gaya evabradine funny sodium jo sodium channel blocker hai and it only purely causes bradycardia cardia or important point to remember in the eye it causes side effect which is a luminous phenomena a very fuzzy vision hai kahi wo stars nazar aate hain so that kind of luminous phenomena luminosity so get it the new drug ek aur hai ro kinase inhibitor your fasudil which also causes vasodilator another ro kinase inhibitor in glaucoma wo kaun si hai a ro kinase inhibitor in glaucoma which one is that fasudil to ho gaya in angina what about the ro kinase inhibitor in in uh, glaucoma very good sini at that is natarsotil that is there also natarsotil very good all of you dr metroid cortex phosphines okay theek hai now coming to this one nitrates quick shots ke bare mein just few important more pointers about nitrates as such padhi hi nahi kabhi ज्यादा क्या पढ़ना है थ्री फोर लाइन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस ठीक है फैसिडल की बात कर रहे हैं मे बी इट्स न्यू ड्रग्स सो रिमेम्बर द लेटेस्ट मोर इम्पोर्टेंट नो जस्ट नोट डाउन दी मैकेनिज्म फॉर दैम बहुत डिटेल्स नहीं जस्ट वॉट इज द ड्रग वॉट इज द मैकेनिज्म दैट इज ऑल दैट इज मोस्टली आस्ट और नाइट्रेस शुड नॉट बी कम्बाइंड विद सिलडेनाफिल ठीक है नाइट्रेस शुड नॉट बी कम्बाइंड विद सिलडेनाफिल because they both cause increase in the cyclic gmp levels and vasodilatory yes vasodilatory effect to so, dono ka they will have a greater vasodilatory effect possibly as hypotension dangerous hypotension occur so this should not be combined with sildenafil most common side effect of nitrate most common side effect of nitrate is is headache because of vasodilatory most common side effect is headache there are other side effects also like reflex tachycardia head tolerance is for monday's disease kehte hain met hemoglobinemia but most common is your headache theek hai and beneficial effect of beta blocker in angina mechanism puchte hain why do beta blockers offer a beneficial effect in angina that is because they decrease the heart rate force of contraction so they decrease the workload and oxygen demand of the heart that's the beneficial effect in patients of angina theek okay? hai and in the myocardial infarction what they do they also have an antiarrhythmic effect that is an additional action over there but for angina heart rate decrease karenge force of contraction so definitely that's going to reduce the myocardial load workload also and oxygen demand also so theek okay? hai ye are the few important pointers about anti anginal drugs Now let's come to the last topic which is your 
statins another very very commonly asked question is your statins let's go the most potent hmga coa reductase inhibitor most potent hmg coa reductase inhibitor is or oh, we'll take one more question of this i think diuretics bhi rehta hai we'll take one question from diuretics after this uh okay so rila says one uh dr metroy says three linson rajesh says rozuva okay rozuva okay pita cortex uses is pita pita ji yes pita ji pota pita you can remember so pita va statin is the most potent out of them rozuva is the longest acting ठीक है सो ये जो है इट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट एक्टिंग फॉलोड बाय अ टोरवा स्टैटिंग सो इसलिए दे डोंट नीड दैट दे शुड बी टेकन एट नाइट बट पीटावा स्टेटिन इज द मोस्ट पोर्टेंट ना क्विक शॉट्स ऑन स्टैटिन व्हाट इज द मेन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन इट इज द एच एम जी coa reductase inhibition hmg coa reductase inhibition theek hai that is the main mechanism long acting mein we start with the longest acting rozuva statin followed by atorva statin rozuva statin atorva statin but rozuva is the longest acting theek hai Which of the statin causes least myopathy? Prava statin. Least myopathy is prava statin. Least myopathy. Which statin is preferred in the kidney disease? Atorva statin. and which statins are preferred in the liver disease rozuva statin and prava statin statin because they don't get metabolized by the cyp enzymes so ye kuch important uh, questions hai theek hai so which is preferred in kidney which is preferred in the liver uh, least myopathy is seen with prava statin theek okay? hai so ye aapki hypolipidemic drugs hain so quickly i'm just sirf batana chahti hu ki kya important hai which group is used in which of the conditions that is what is the most important to know so statins they are the drug of choice for hypercholesterolemia theek okay? hai because they they cause the maximum decrease in the ldl cholesterol maximum degree so they are the drug of choice for hypercholesterolemia but they cannot be used in pregnancy pregnancy mein they are teratogenic drugs category x drugs so pregnancy ke liye hum raisins we prefer raisins over this drug so we prefer raisins and the other important drawback of statins is they cause myopathy theek hai and they can cause hyperglycemia and if you combine statin with fibrate especially gem fibrosin gem fibrosil the risk of myopathy increases okay so risk of myopathy increases raisins same hai the only important thing is they also cause depletion of cholesterol so they are the drug of choice in pregnancy in children also you can use them and drug of choice in pregnancy you cannot use statins fibrates jo hai that is action is on ppar alpha PPAR alpha stimulation increase the LPL lipoprotein lipase effect and they have maximum triglycerides. They had maximum LDL cholesterol decreasing effect. They have maximum triglyceride lowering effect. And the most important problem with them is myopathy. Myopathy and phenofibrate is relatively safer, but gemfibrosil uh, had has a lot of a tendency to cause uh, this myopathy. Then niacin. Vitamin B3 in high doses, two to six gram ka dose hai, and it can also increase decrease in the LDL. 
पर इसमें इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ये है द ओनली ड्रग टू डिक्रीज द लाइपो प्रोटीन ए विच इज मोर एथीरोजेनिक एज एज कम्पेयर टू दर्स ये ज्यादा एथीरोजेनिक है तो इट्स द ओनली ड्रग टू डिक्रीज लाइपो प्रोटीन ए एंड इट कॉजेज फ्लशिंग विच कैन बी ट्रीटेड विथ गिविंग एस्परिन बिफोर हैंड बिकॉज फ्लशिंग क्यों होता है बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रोस्टा ग्लैंड रिलीज and that leads to flushing so you know aspirin inhibits the cox enzyme and decreases the synthesis of prostaglandin so you can give either aspirin or you can give a prostaglandin antagonist which is your laropiprint laropiprint prostaglandin p r a n t prostaglandin antagonist theek hai laro so ye important hai ye pucha gaya hai in the exam jo highlighted things hai they have been all asked so please make very sure एजिटीमाइप ठीक है ये न्यूअर ड्रग्स हैं जस्ट रिमेंबर वो मकैनिज्म क्या है एंड दैट इज वॉट इज बिकॉज एजिटीमाइप वॉज अ क्वेश्चन पी वाई क्यू वॉट इज द मकैनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ एजिटीमाइप सो इट इनहेबिट्स दिस ट्रांसपोर्टर एन पी सी वन एल वन इट इज नाइमन पिक सी वन लाइक वन एंड बेसिक द रोल इज टू इंक्रीज द अब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल फ्रॉम जी जी आई टी सो इफ यू ब्लॉक दिस ट्रांसपोर्टर it will not absorb cholesterol from gid that's the basic role theek hai some newer hypolipidic me drugs you can take a snapshot later on because ye aapko aane chahiye so these are basically to cram ye cram karne ki zarurat hai in drugs ko uh, pcsk9 inhibitors theek hai so again ye pucha gaya hai ye pucha gaya hai ye pucha gaya hai so all of them can be asked in exam so you can just ठीक है यू कैन टेक दिस स्नैप शॉट एंड इफ यू हैव इट ऑलरेडी इन नोट्स वेल एंड गुड सो पी सी एस के नाइन इनिबिटर्स लाइक एलिरो को मैप ठीक है इवोलो को मैप इवोलो को मैप पूछा गया था ठीक है ये हो गया देन सी टी पी इनिबिटर्स दैट इज द करंटली ओनली वन इज वर्किंग पी सी एस के डोंट आस्क मी द फुल फॉर्म बट आई टेल यू बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग फुल फॉर्म मुझे इसका याद नहीं बट आई टेल यू द यूज ऑफ पी सी एस के वॉट इज यूज Uh, ये आपका लिवर है ठीक है एंड इट हैज गॉट एल डी एल रिसेप्टर्स ठीक है एल डी एल रिसेप्टर्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ दीज एल डी एल रिसेप्टर्स टू पिक अप द एल डी एल विच इज सर्कुलेटिंग इन द ब्लड ठीक है एंड दे आर पिकड अप बाई एल डी एल एंड टेकन अप इन टू द लिवर ना पी सी एस के नाइन इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कॉजिंग द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ दीज रिसेप्टर्स इनको ब्रेक कर देती है डिग्रेड कर देती है सो वेन देर इज लेस ऑफ एल डी एल रिसेप्टर तो एल डी एल विल नॉट बी टेकन अप इन टू द लिवर तो वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ पी सी एस के नाइन इनिबिटर्स इट विल इनहिबिट दिस तो एल डी एल रिसेप्टर्स विल नॉट बी डिग्रेडेड इन द लिवर सो मोर एल डी एल कैन बी टेकन अप फ्रॉम द ब्लड सो एल डी एल इन द ब्लड विल गो डाउन या आई थिंक दिस इज If you can remember, remember पर कोई पूछता नहीं है इसको but uh, so basically PCSK is more easier. There are so ईजियर देर आर सो मैन सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स टू लर्न इसके लिए सो इवन इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर द फुल फॉर्म इट्स ओके पी सी एस के नाइन पूछते हैं मैक्सिमम या सो आई ट्राई टू मेमोराइज बट समाउ इट दिस स्टेप्स आउट ऑफ माई माइंड सो सॉरी फॉर दैट बट द मकैनिज्म शुड भी क्लियर मकैनिज्म मैंने आपको बता दिया मेनली जो योर पी सी एस के नाइन का रोल है टू डिग्रेड द एल डी एल रिसेप्टर and usko agar hum inhibit kar denge then it will not be able to degrade the ldl receptor so more ldl receptors are present and they will therefore take up more ldl from the blood so your blood may the ldl levels are going to go down that's the whole role of this yes kya kya padhenge theek hai so ye ek slide hai you can just aram se take a snapshot and later on cram them as in well theek hai chalo uh ये एक लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन बिकॉज डायबिटिक्स वर नॉट कवर्ड अभी इसमें तो लेट्स क्विकली गो थ्रू दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पूछा गया दोबारा से सो ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन न्यूरोजेनिक डायबिटीज इंसिपिटिस क्विकली लेट्स गो थ्रू ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन न्यूरोजेनिक डायबिटीज इंसिपिटिस यस एग्जाम में नहीं ना कर सकते वेरी गुड डेस्मोप्रेसिन एक्सिलेंट डेस्मोप्रेसिन तो तीन टाइप के ये डायबिटीज इंसिपिटस की ट्रीटमेंट एक न्यूरोजेनिक इट इज दिस नेफ्रोजेनिक डायबिटीज इंसिपिटस में रिमेंबर 
थायाजाइड्स ठीक है और एमिलोराइड किस में यूज होता है लिथियम इंड्यूस्ड डायबिटीज इंसिपिटस बस ठीक ये थ्री टाइप्स यू नो एक्सेलेंट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू नो लेट्स कम टू फाइनल क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज ड्रग एक्टिंग ऑन साइट ए इज ड्रग एक्टिंग ऑन साइट ए इज डॉक्टर मिट्रॉय से थ्री टॉर्सेमाइड ओके फोर क्लोर थायजाइड ये देख लो यहां पर आई एल टेल यू दिस जस्ट फोकस ऑन दिस वॉट इज रिटर्न इ थिक असेंडिंग लिप तो जैसे गिवन यू अर हिंट कि थिक असेंडिंग लिम और थिक असेंडिंग लिम लिम कहाँ पे होती है इवन इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर द रिसेप्टर थिक असेंडिंग लिम दो ही लिम्स किसकी होती है डिसेंडिंग डिसेंडिंग इट इज ऑफ लूप सो दिस ड्रग हैज टू बी अ लूप डायरेटिक सो आउट ऑफ दैम ये ऑस्मोटिक है ठीक है एस्टाजोल कार्बोनिक एंड नाइड्रेज इन बेटर है दिस इज अ थायजाइड सो दिस इज अ लूप डायरेटिक ठीक है सो दिस इज अ लूप डायरेटिक या बिफोर डी सी टी डेफिनेटली जो डी सी टी पे एक्ट करेगा दैट विल बी दाइट देन सो देर बट दीज वन आर नॉट ठीक है चलो ये सो लेट्स जस्ट क्विकली रिवाइज फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बट मैक्सिमम हाइपोकलीमा इज कॉज बाय विच डायरेटिक मैक्सिमम हाइपोकलीमा इज कॉज बाय विच डायरेटिक मैक्सिमम hypokalemia is caused by which diuretic no maximum hypokalemia will be caused by the diuretic diuretic which works on that part of the nephron jahan pe maximum sodium reabsorption ho rahi hai yes it is your carbonic anhydrase inhibitor because pct is the area where maximum sodium actually they try to reabsorb to uska sara badla wo collecting duct wale lete hain baad mein so they take out because they absorb reabsorb the most of the sodium back and they cause hypokalemia diuretic which don't act from the inside of the tubular lumen ha uh, <laughs> diuretic which don't act from inside of the tubular lumen andar se nahi kaam karna padta they don't have to be secreted in the lumen ये मैं पहले भी करा चुकी हूँ एक बार बट यस दैट्स व्हाई इट नीड्स रिपीटेड रिवीजन फिर भी हो जाता है यस इट इज एक्चुअली योर एल्डोस्टिरोन एंटागनिस्ट जो भी कलेक्टिंग डक्ट वाले एल्डोस्टिरोन एंटागनिस्ट ठीक है सो डोंट वर्क बेसिकली सो डायबिटिक कॉजिंग सॉरी डायबिटिक कॉजिंग मेटाबोलिक एसिडोसिस डायबिटिक कॉजिंग मेटाबोलिक एसिडोसिस Diuretic causing metabolic acidosis. Mm -hmm. No thiazides. Who alkalosis? This is acetazolamide or carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. So, ये question आया हुआ है ठीक है ये भी क्वेश्चन आया हुआ है ये सारे क्वेश्चन है बेसिकली विच आई पुट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्विक शॉर्ट्स डायरेटिक विच कैन बी यूज इन रीनल फेलियर ऑल ऑफ देम आर एक्चुअली पी वाई क्यूज विच आई पुट इन पॉइंट्स ओके डायरेटिक यूज इन रीनल फेलियर इंस्टिंग भी तभी काम करता है इफ यू नो समथिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड यू नो आज बिल्कुल ब्लैंक में तो काम नहीं करे सो वेन यू रेड समथिंग इट विल स्ट्राइक यू हाँ यू रेड इट समथिंग renal failure very good one is loop diuretic and which works thiazides may say one diuretic which can be used in renal failure thiazides and otherwise cannot be used in renal failure but which one thiazide diuretic can be used in renal failure loop definitely can be used wo to humne kar liya ek aur let's say loop option mein nahi diya hua they have given some other 
Chlorothiazides don't work in renal failure. Okay, thiazides cannot be used. Apart from loop. Mm -hmm. Consa thiazide diuretic can be used in renal failure. Metolazone. Okay, metolazone is a diuretic which can be used in renal failure. This is the, please, ye yaad rakhna hai dono. Loop, yes, but metolazone pucha gaya, which diuretic can work in renal failure? This is the only diuretic which can work in renal failure. Uh, a thiazide diuretic, which can work in renal failure. Alright, drug of choice for cirrhotic edema. Drug of choice for cirrhotic edema. Very good. Yes, it is pyronolactone. Spironolactone. Cirrhotic edema may spironolactone because there are there is a lot of aldosterone increase in this kind of edema. So the best diuretic which would work is spironolactone. Disease modifying diuretic in heart failure. Disease modifying diuretic in heart failure. Very good. It is again spironolactone. Because it inhibits or decreases the aldosterone levels. And aldosterone actually what happens in heart failure, it causes ventricular remodeling. So spironolactone is co prevent karega, ventricular remodeling. So it is a disease modifying diuretic in heart failure. And ENAC blockers, it is your amyloride and triumphant very good amyloride and triumphant so this was all about today's session and we have tried to cover up cvs i laid more focus on actually antirhythmics because sometimes when we discuss drugs and they are left out so antirhythmics and hypolipidemics i've tried to uh, these are so jitne bhi, even the quick shots which i have told you these are also previous year questions. So I have incorporated that also as quick show so that we can just without any option whether you can answer or not. And baki to PYQ was the which we have answered. But sare jitna bhi, if you, whenever you have time to revise, this go 1.75 ki speed pe dubara dekh lena and see what again you can attempt whether you can you are able to answer or not able to answer. This is how you will revise them. Theek hai? Next class, uh, YouTube pe next class would be next Saturday. But as I said, I take one class uh, in the unacademy. But that's a double, it will be a same topic would be there. But yes, I have tried to take up different uh, questions so I can cover it in a different way. So there are there are more topics covered. The, the two sessions are there because one session may because we can't cover a lot of things. So the second session there is, so I'll cover some different topics because questions were here, but both questions are so everything can't be discussed here. So, jitna bhi kuch rehata hai, ya maybe revision jiso karni hai, then you can also log into that if you have time. Alright? Alright everybody, thank you so much for being here and take care and study well and I wish you all the very best in your preparations and your future endeavors and hope you, uh, you know, uh, rise and shine in your careers. See you uh, next time and till then take care. Bye-bye. Study really well.